I'm Chris, so one of the assistant managers at Halbridge Leisure Centre. So I think it was about 10, 10 to 11. Uh, I was behind reception and the gym alarm went off as we ran into the gym. Um, one of our gym members who's a regular had collapsed and was in between the cross trainer. Between myself and a couple of members of the public who was using the gym, we managed to get under his arms and, and pull, pull him out. I was off shift, but we had this staff training in the morning. As part of that, we were doing CPR on the mannequins, discussing like heart attacks, agonal gasps. So 50 minutes after the staff training, you can't really get much fresher um, in your head than what that was that day. So did your breathing check? People around were saying, oh, it's okay, he's breathing. And one of the main things like with your heart attacks and what people mistake is your agonal gas, which is just gases and breath leaving your body mouth and it can be mistaken for breathing. Luckily for myself, I'm the gym member. Given all the training I've had and experience in the past, we was able to quickly recognise that that wasn't the normal breathing and we obviously commenced CPR. Following the alarm going off, two other members of staff come up um, so the defibrillator was put on and then between the three of us we worked as a team delivering compression, delivering breaths and waiting for the shocks. They tend to say every minute that passes you get 10% less chance of survival. On that day unfortunately because of the weather it took nearly 16 minutes for the ambulance to get here. Fortunately now we all have defibrillators at our sites at every leisure centre we do in around our facilities. By just doing the CPR, the compressions and the breaths you can't bring anybody back to life with that, you've got to have that defibrillator to administer the shock to restart the heart. We took three shocks and it tends to be if you don't make the third shock, you, uh, <laughs> your chances of survival are very, very slim. But fortunately on that third shock, the, the customer regained like consciousness, came around breathing. At that point then, the ambulance turned up. They managed to get the adrenaline and whatever the other medicines they use. And he went out with his, <laughs> his thumbs in the air. Without a doubt, you go away from it really proud because you know that you've made a difference um, and without the intervention from our team on that day, the gym member wouldn't be with us any longer. But as a positive, they're back in using us now and obviously they're feeling better than ever now from the treatment they've had afterwards.